it's me Thais again <laughs> and today I'm gonna show you how to do this beautiful headband like to see I just think it's gorgeous I'm so in love for this look uh, I made a tutorial before with a glove with this type of stitch now I decide to use that type of stitch to make a headband so let's get started so here we are what are we gonna need for this tutorial I'm gonna use this hook size five millimeters of course you're gonna need scissors I don't talk about those things because I think it's so obvious and you're gonna need things to you know to on the bottom but anyway um gonna use this amazing beautiful yarn see super saver stripes um the color is this color here uh and here is the information about the yarn it's just medium four uh it's a hundred percent acrylic and this yarn has 236 yards 250 meters so let's do it oh by the way i got a really good price like you can see <laughs> it was in joanne's like i always start you have to start doing the chain so you gotta chain 11 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven when you finish the eleven you gotta do more one two three yarn over so you're gonna skip those three that you just made it one two three and the fourth one you're gonna make a double crochet there we go and this one gonna count as one stitch this chain so keep going you're gonna do to the end only double crochet and I like to put my hook right here in a chain of course you can put in the top of the chain what I don't like it but anyway it's just my preference it takes a little more time but that's how I like to do it so I'm gonna do the double crochet all the way to get here okay so I meet you when I finish this so here we are I made and when you finish you're gonna have a total of 12 that counts the beginning here this is a chain that you made in the beginning so you're gonna have 12 stitches to work in. what you're gonna do you're gonna turn your work and you're gonna chain two one two yarn over and you're gonna work in the back part of the loop you're not gonna work here or here you're gonna work here this part right here can you see this part of the stitch so you're not going to do like that you gotta do like this another thing you're not gonna work in the first one because this chain two is a count as a stitch so you're gonna come on this one the second one in the back part of the loop see yarn over and make a double crochet one two three four five six Oh, okay when you get six one two three four five six you're gonna chain 13 so one two three oh three eight three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen then you're gonna 
come here right in the beginning gonna go through it those two first loops right here see those two right here and you did not yarn over okay just put your hook like that then you're gonna yarn over pull through and pull through see then you keep going the next two to get to the end oops oops right here there we go sorry then you're gonna have more six till the end of the hole the hole so you made six chain 13 made a slip stitch and now you're gonna make more six here i'm gonna show to you see one two three four five six then you're gonna chain two turn your work and keep going always in the back part of the loop so not in this first one because it has the chain right here you're gonna go in the second one right here see you gotta work one one two because the chain counts as one so one two three four five right next to the loop has the six number six right here really close to the loop is the one you, you did the loop actually and now inside the loop you're gonna make 24 um, double crochet so you're gonna yarn over and work inside the loop 24 double crochet Two. I'm gonna just do it. Uh, I always pull through, then they stay together. So I made two. I'm gonna do 24, and I come back to you. After 24, I'm gonna look like this. I'm gonna make a bigger here in the loop. Take a hook out. Then you're gonna find. It's easy to find because it's when you have a more space between the stitch. So if you don't know exactly when you started, in the top of this stitch, gonna be. To, it's easy to find the hole here you gotta put in the top of the first stitch right here you gotta come get the other loop from another side and you just gotta slip stitch all together yarn over and you have to find right in the back of the loop it's gonna be hard to find but it's the first of the sixth one so it's right here let me just confirm one two three four five six yeah right here it's hard because it's right behind it's right behind see right here behind the loop then you go to your double and i'm gonna keep going to the end of your hole the row, the row, the row. Let's finish this row. There you go. Almost there. I like to always count if I'm doing right. So, one, two, three, four, five. The last one is the tricky one. Oh, I always get the part here in the back. There we go. I don't know if you could see what I did. I'm trying to do, oh, 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 don't go anywhere. There we go. This is the back part. Like you can see, already has some texture. When you start doing more, you're gonna see how beautiful this texture is gonna be. So this is the first one. You're gonna repeat now everything uh, not these two ones these two first ones that i made just the ones the two for the loop the two ones i made this loop so you're gonna do more six here only in the back part 
you go to chain 13, slip stitch all together, finish the hole. Turn the work, oops, turn the work. Then you gotta keep going the back part of the loop, more six. Then you do 24 inside, slip stitch, and finish. And you gotta do this till you got the measure of your head. In my case, mine is 21 and a half inches, what is about 54 centimeters. So I'll come back to you once I'm done doing this. So here we are, this is the back part, and this is the front part. Beautiful, already put all of them together, just in case. Let me just take it out. That's how you're gonna do it. You're gonna grab one loop, fold out one, and put inside. Then you fold the next one, put inside. See, that's how you do it. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this two here. I'm gonna make them get together. And then I'm gonna put probably a button right here. So I'm gonna sew my way. What I find the, the first stitch right here, grab it. Put through it. Then I go find the next one here. the next stitch and slip stitch then you put the next one to the next one pull through slip stitch next one next one pull through slip stitch so you're gonna close like this so when you turn your work gonna be all clean. That's the mistake I was doing. I was doing this side, so you have to do the opposite side. And you keep going to close right now here. Now that I finish, that's how it's gonna look like, see? I'm gonna cut. It looks so beautiful like that, huh? Wow. And... There we go. They're all together, so when you turn, like this, it's all ready. Now, the last one here, I'm gonna put a button to finish the, the whole pattern, you know? Just let me fix all of them together. There you go. Okay, there you go. It looks so beautiful, right? I love these colors so much. They're beautiful. So I'm gonna put the button right here and I come back to you. And here it is. After I put the button right here, I'm gonna put, post some photos. Post, no, I'm gonna put here in a video some photos of um, how this look like in your head see i think it's gorgeous it's beautiful i just fall in love with this really anyway this was the other one i made it just for you if you want to compare there are different types of how to to put some texture in a headband and i love this way and i'm falling in love with this one so it's really up to everybody what you prefer to do it. And that's the result. I hope you like it. So uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe in the channel, click in the small um, bell. Then I always know when I have new, st new stuff popping up. <laughs> and um, share please with your friends and family. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.